time is it? 3 30. 3 in the morning. It's pretty early. We woke up, pretty, uh, we went to sleep pretty late. I woke up around about 1 o'clock. Now we're at um, the coast. Hello. I guess we just camp. Come on. Mount Batu. Um, about to hike it up. We were steady on those 1800 meters. Around about 1800 meters up. Um, then we should get to the top. It's the half cloudy, half clear. Hopefully that will stay clear for the sunrise, um, but we've been seeing pretty crazy lightning um, happening around here. So we're still quite a bit of people, so um, yeah. See how, it goes. See how the hike goes. <laughs> Your torch, what's it like? It feels like a light here. So we've been walking for about 45 minutes now. Uh, we're at nearly the midway point. Can't really see behind me, but we only walked like a few meters where we were before down in the fog. Now we're literally above the fog and you can see um, other, other mountains, um, summits, just kind of like coming out of the clouds which is pretty cool um, so I'm hoping the weather still holds up which is still good at the moment and you can still see to other towns as well so let's keep going so here we are there's actually two summit points in Mount Batu um, this is the first one this is the sunrise point so this is where you see the sunrise and that's why I'm gonna do the time lapse and hopefully it'll be a pretty good day today um, next, after the sunrise, we're going to go up to the crater. Um, it's about 10 minutes up that way again. So, from from the last from the last time that I did the video, like I spoke, it was all flat ground. Like it was just a bit of an elevation, but it was all flat ground. And then all of a sudden, it just took a sudden kind of kind of hit, um, like like that steep. And then you almost have to climb some of them. Um, no stairs, no nothing. It's just rocks. Um, but the the ways like these twisted kind of ways up the mountain which is kind of cool because there was at least about 200 people i would think i'm um, climbing at the same time it's just kind of like a row of um, flashlights like a pilgrimage really um but you know it was a pretty fun thing you get to talk to some people um other guides actually talk to you as well which is kind of funny they make jokes about bali time they keep saying one minute even though it's like 20 minutes to go uh, which is good um so yeah so that's basically there's the lake there and then there's the two mountains um, and then the sunrise will just be coming up behind the mountains, which will be pretty, pretty awesome. So let's get to it. up to where we can see the crater fortunately the lens on the 5D is um, fogging up so using the GoPro is really high for now hopefully it's alright That's the crater. That's the mountain for. Tiring. Take some videos and then take some photos. Let's see down there. All right, we just made it. We're at the bottom now, the car park. So, Harry, we conquered. Mount Batu! Woo!
Um, Hell yeah! So yeah, it's just from when we walked last up, I went all the way up to the crater side and then on the way down is basically just kind of volcanic sand and just skiing down through, which is cool but scary at the same time. But the problem was someone actually fell, sprained the ankles. Um, ankle. Ankle. She actually had to go down with four guides carrying her. That's right. Four guides carrying her all the way down steep mountain, rocky roads, and everything. Kind of no crazy. There was no flat ground. There was no flat ground. There's no nothing. No, but, uh, no path either. No path. Yeah. But we all made it, so that's good. No, no more injuries and everything. Um, what do you think, Owen? How was it? It was really good. The sunrise was amazing. Um, I'm so hot now, so sweaty, so tired, but it was so worth it. Yeah, if so you're ever in Bali, I would recommend coming here. Definitely. And visiting it, but you know, I think you need a certain fitness level to get up. <laughs> what do you want to do now? We might either visit a hot spring or we'll go to lunch. Either, either that, either of those two. Sounds good. All right. At the hot springs! Right in front of Mount Agung, right at the back there, wait, Mount Abang and then Mount Agung, and then that's the lake right there as well. These are supposedly natural hot springs, but because they were all gone modern now, it's only coming out of these elephants and the pipes, there's no more kind of an actual source of the spring itself, but still pretty cool. We're gonna take a bit of a dip and then maybe lunch afterwards. See you guys. There's other plants as well, but this place is actually famous for the coffee and the cocoa. So we're about to try some stuff and yeah, try some stuff. It's actually a coffee lua, which is the capital coffee. That's the food. Yes. And this is how they do it up to the clean end. Okay. Poo. That's what happens. Clean poo. Yeah. And this no, that's is the like bean, a, right? Yeah. That's the bean. Yeah. That's also. That's the green one. So when the animal eat the bean, yeah, come out like that. So come like this. We're pressing coffee now. Bali coffee, no more coffee. Good up. This is the Bali coconut. And? What does it taste like? Pretty good. Um, not strong, not bitter. A lot of coconut flavor. Oh, I love this olive lemon. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's mm. good, right? It's good. How's the mango seed? Sweet, right? Mm, very sweet. Can I put my my finger on what that actual tastes? Mango seed. No. Because you didn't try it when we were in Chicago. Mm, but there's some. It tastes like something else. I can't figure it out. Candy of some sort. This is normal coffee. This is cat food coffee. Coffee with a It's strong. This one's better. It's strong, but it's heavy. This is just light. It almost tastes like water. After you taste this, that one just becomes like yes. water. Yeah. It's good though. I'm drinking poo. How about that? 